Greetings, my acolytes. Welcome back to the archives. We have been expecting you. Recently, I did a video wondering whether an AI wrote the better Vitiate versus Palpatine duel than I did, with my video being one of the most viewed videos in my entire channel's history, amassing over 110 views, which is absolutely insane. Today, we are going to be taking a similar approach, exploring what if Yoda turned to the dark side, asking the AI a plausible sequence of events that ultimately culminate in the Jedi Grand Master falling into the power of the dark side. So without further ado, my friends, let us begin and delve into the horrors of a dark side amplified Grand Master Yoda. Once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away, there was a powerful Jedi named Yoda. He had trained many Jedis in the ways of the Force, and was known as the Grand Master of the Jedi Order. However, one day while meditating in the Jedi Temple, Yoda stumbled upon a dark side nexus. Intrigued by his power, he ventured down to investigate, exposing himself to the darkness within. As he emerged from the Nexus, Yoda could feel a change within himself. He could feel the power of the dark side coursing through his veins, and he knew he could use it to become even more powerful than before. Yoda knew he had to act fast, before the Jedi found out about his newfound power. So he made his way to the Jedi Council Chambers, where he knew Mace Windu, the powerful Jedi Master and leader of the Jedi Council, was meeting with other Jedi. As Yoda entered the chambers, the Jedi turned and looked at him in shock. They could feel the dark side emanating from him, but they knew something was wrong. Yoda, what is the meaning of this? Mace Windu exclaimed. You can feel the dark side within you. What have you done? Tapped into the power of the dark side I have, Yoda replied, his voice now filled with malice. And more powerful than ever before I am. The Jedi Council was horrified. They could not believe that their Grand Master had turned to the dark side. They knew they had to stop him before he caused any more harm. Mace Windu stepped forward. His lightsaber ignited. Yoda, you have betrayed the Jedi Order. You must be stopped. Stop me, you think you can. A master of the dark side, I am. No match for me, you are. With that, Yoda unleashed his newly acquired dark side powers. Four lightning bolts shot out of his fingers, striking the Jedi Council. They fought back with their own lightsabers and powers, but Yoda's dark side abilities were just too much for them. Mace Windu, who was known for his powerful lightsaber skills, fought bravely, but was no match for the dark Yoda. Yoda effortlessly overpowered him and struck him down. Palpatine, who was watching the fight from the sidelines, knew that this was his chance to step in. He revealed himself as a true Sith Lord and revealed his plan to take over the galaxy. Yoda, who was now fully consumed by the dark side, saw an opportunity to gain even more power by aligning himself with Palpatine. Even more than this, he saw that eventually Palpatine would need to be knocked off the board. Anakin, who had just arrived to the chambers, was shocked to see his friends and his mentors fighting one another. He couldn't understand how this could happen. He saw Yoda and Palpatine working together and knew something was deeply wrong. Anakin joined the fight, using his powerful abilities such as push, push and pull to try to stop Yoda and Palpatine, but it was no use. The two dark siders were too powerful. Yoda, how could you do this? You are mental to me, Anakin shouted. How could you turn to the dark side? Yoda sneered. All that matters power is, Anakin, and all the power in the galaxy I will possess. Anakin knew that he had to stop Yoda no matter what, so he called upon all of his strength and used the force to ignite his lightsaber, staring down the dark side and amplifying Yoda. Yoda, as we can see in this fan fiction, is exceptionally, and I mean this, exceptionally powerful. Dooku even noted that a dark side Yoda would absolutely decimate a being as powerful as Sidious as early as Revenge of the Sith proving his immense superiority. However, this is not the end of our fan fiction. This picks up as Yoda continues to dominate the remaining of the waning Jedi Council. Yoda continues to dominate the Jedi Council, effortlessly overpowering them with his dark side powers. As he stood victorious, he felt the presence of another powerful dark sider, Palpatine. With a smirk on his face, Yoda reached out with the Force, sending a telepathic message of power to Palpatine the Senate building. Palpatine, who was gazing out at the sunlit sky of Coruscant, suddenly felt an embodiment of the dark side coming for him. He fell to the ground in shock as he sensed Yoda's corrupted power. Yoda walked over to the weak bodies of the Jedi High Council, noticing Dooku stumble into the room in utter shock. His lightsaber of crimson ignited. How could this have happened? Dooku thought to himself as he looked upon the monstrous figure Yoda had become. 
Yoda's green flesh was already decaying. His eyes had turned white like a bone's. His fangs were blood-soaked as he dug himself into the guts of his deceased Jedi comrades. Dooku noticed all of this and couldn't believe what had happened to Yoda. Dooku, you have this power you two can, Yoda said with a sly grin. Join me in the dark side, you must, and rule the galaxy together. We will. Dooku shook his head in disgust. I will never join you in your path of destruction, Yoda. Palpatine will see the end of you. Yoda's grin turned into a scowl. With a wave of his hand, Dooku's neck exploded and his body fell to the ground. Yoda stood tall, looking down at the bodies of the Jedi Council. He knew that the Jedi Order was no more and the galaxy would soon be under his rule. Yoda boarded a transport, heading towards the Senate building to eradicate Palpatine. Palpatine, in fear of a corrupted and bloodbusted Grandmaster, attempted one last time to persuade Anakin. Anakin, my boy, do not be fooled by this imposter. He has turned to the dark side and will stop at nothing to destroy us. As Yoda arrived at the Senate building, he could sense Palpatine's fear and Anakin's confusion. He walked towards them, his eyes humming the dark side energy. Palpatine, pay for your treachery, you will, Yoda said in a cold and menacing voice. Yoda, you have fallen to the dark side. That is not the Jedi way. Anakin and Palpatine exclaimed, shocked by the sight before him. The Jedi way, young Skywalker? All dead they are, Skywalker. Destroyed them all, I have, Yoda said with a smirk. Palpatine, seeing no other option, unleashed a stream of force lightning towards Yoda, attempting to vaporize him. But Yoda caught the crackling bolts of energy with his palm with ease. An eternal being of the dark side now, I am Palpatine. Nothing you are but a weak and powerless man. Yoda said as he closed his fish, extinguishing the lightning. Palpatine fell to his knees in defeat, knowing that his reign was coming to an end. Yoda walked towards him, ready to deliver the final blow. Anakin, horrified by what he had witnessed, knew that he had to stop this madness, but he was no match for the dark side corrupted Yoda. The story ends here, with Yoda standing victorious, ready to claim his place as the ruler of the galaxy, and Anakin left to make the decision that would decide the fate of galactic history. Anakin, filled with a sense of desperation and confusion, knew that he had to do something to stop Yoda. He reached out with the force and summoned all the power he could muster. He ignited his blade and charged towards Yoda, determined to stop the corrupted Grandmaster, no matter what it took. He might have not always adhered to the Jedi Code, but Yoda was an epitome of darkness. Yoda, who was about to deliver the final blow to Palpatine, turned face to face. Anakin, my former apprentice, cannot stop me. Become too powerful, I have, Yoda said as he unleashed a stream of lightning towards Anakin. Anakin, using all his strength, managed to deflect the lightning with his lightsaber. He engaged Yoda in a fierce duel, using all the lightsaber techniques and knowledge that he had acquired over his intense study. Anakin was powerful, but Yoda was far, far superior. Anakin was in shock with disbelief as he looked at Yoda, who now stood before him as a powerful Darksider. Couldn't understand how this could have happened to the Grand Master of the Jedi Order. Yoda, what happened to you? How did you fall to the dark side? Anakin asked, filled with confusion and curiosity. Yoda, with a sinister grin on his face, confessed, I stumbled upon a dark side nexus. Meditating in the Jedi Temple, I was. Ventured down to investigate, I did. Exposing myself to the darkness within, I did. It greatly expanded my force mentorian count, rivaling even Vitiate and the Chosen One himself. Rivaling my count, yours does, Anakin. Anakin was intrigued by Yoda's newfound claims of power. Can you demonstrate your abilities for me? He asked. Pleasure, I will have taken it, Yoda said as he unleashed crackling red bolts of crimson lightning towards Palpatine, who was repelled backwards and collided with the furniture in his office. Palpatine, who was now lying on the ground barely conscious, could only look on in fear and shock as Yoda walked towards him. You see, Anakin, the power of the dark side this offers, the power to control, to rule, dominate it does, Yoda said as he stood tall, glaring down at Palpatine. Anakin, who was now faced with the decision of whether to join Yoda and embrace the dark side or fight against him, was filled with uncertainty. He knew the fate of the galaxy rested in his hands, but what path would he choose? Well, my friends, what did you think of this fan fiction generated by an AI, revealing about what if Yoda, the Grand Master of the Jedi, turned to the dark side and went to confront not only the Jedi High Council, 
but also the leader of the separatist movement and primary public face of the separatist Count Dooku, and his own master, one of, if not the most powerful Darksider to have ever existed that falls into the list of conventional force users in Darth Sidious, with his only rivals being both Vitiate and Nihilus. Goodbye, my friends. This is where we part ways. I'll see you in the galaxy far, far away, and never go into the bowels of the Jedi Temple.